All right, Malik, say hi. Hey. Say hi to all of our HWC kiddos. So we miss you, we love you. We hope to be back together really soon, don't we? I oh, look, guys, this is a struggle for me. This is not in my wheelhouse. This is a challenge, right? You want to build TV, right? No? He's not going to talk to me, so y'all just bear with me. Um, I'm not used to being on TV. I'm not used to having to have things ready. I was told I had two weeks, and now I have two days. So this is what we get. Um, I had noticed on Facebook where people were painting front doors, windows, um, storm doors. Um, I couldn't use our church doors. I was given a window, but it had a pane in it, so we just decided to do this, didn't we, Maddox? What does this look like? You're not going to talk? This is the cross, guys. Um, I had asked Dave to um, help me with a devotion, so y'all have to bear with me, so he did it really quickly last night. It says, since this is the April season, it means Easter. This is the day Jesus rose from the grave, three days after dying on the cross, to save us all. But did you know that he would, we should celebrate Jesus for what he did for us every day, not just Easter, every day. The Bible says that Jesus is the light. He shines down on us and lights our way. We need a flashlight to get around in the dark so we know where we're going and what we're doing. We don't get lost. That's what Jesus is. He keeps our souls from getting lost in the dark. We all need a light in the darkness. <clears throat> so, Maddox, when you play in the tents at home, what do we have? What do you like to play with? Okay. A flashlight. So, that is your light to see your way in the dark, right? Well, Jesus is everybody's light. Okay? And in this time right now that we're in, not just kids need a night light, but us as adults need a night light, right? And who is my light? Jesus, right? So I just ask that everybody try to come together, share the love of Jesus, right? Like post it in your windows, post it on your doors, draw something, like we also saw where you could put Easter eggs in your windows and maybe do a neighborhood Easter egg hunt. Where since we can't get out, we can't go visit our families, we can't have family gatherings, we can't have a church-wide Easter egg hunt, decorate an egg, put it in a window or in your door, walk around your neighborhood and spot the easter eggs take pictures post them on social media this is the time we can really use social media um i wanted all my little kiddos to know that um you don't just have to do glass you can also get sidewalk chalk decorate your front porches show the love of jesus draw a picture put we love you jesus has got this or i don't know what is it? What would you do with your community workers? You put a gift in your lunch in your uh, mailbox, right? You shared something with your mail lady, right? Yeah. And she left you a message. So this is the time we share and show the love of Jesus, right? So if you can't talk to your neighbors, send them a message, right? Put something in your window that says we're praying for you. Or just, I don't know, this is the time to use social media, right? So if it's okay with Phil and J uh, Jacob, if any of our kids want to make something and maybe share it on our media, they can do that. Right, Maddox? <laughs> He's not going to talk to me, so. Um, he misses what is it we like to do in class. Monkey in the middle. Yeah. And musical chairs. All of our Wednesday night kids miss getting to be together, right? So Maddox, when I mentioned coming to church, he was all happy about coming to church. He was like, yes, I want to go. So now he's going to play bashful, but I don't have a large lesson. That's what it was. Just kind of interacting with your families, doing something together. Of course, you need permission from your parents or whoever to draw on windows and doors. You can use markers, dry erase. You can play games using tape to make a tic-tac-toe board or what have you. Just um, use your imagination, but share the love of Jesus while you're at home during this whatever shelter in place is going on, right? All right, Maddox, you wanna pray for anybody? You said you wanted to pray for Easton, your little brother, right? Yeah, now he don't have pink. He don't have pink eye anymore, right? <laughs> so you wanna pray with me? You wanna tell everybody bye, say hope to see you soon? 
Say we love you. Wash your hands. Stay at home. <laughs> All right, so you gonna pray with me? Close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, bless our church families. Watch over our community helpers who are in the front lines. Lord, we pray for your mercy and grace. We thank you for all our many blessings. Lord, we pray for a veil of protection over all of our children. Lord, just bless us and keep us. In Jesus' name, amen. Say amen.